Hey, everyone. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Appreciate that. And thank you for the warm welcome. I, I had a great session uh, Wednesday. It's a great space. You have, a, you have a great, you know, you have a great instructor and professor here. And, and you know, I've, I've been to a lot of gyms in the U.S. And, and I got to say for, you know, this is a really, really nice welcoming space. There was great technique everywhere. Um, I know when it comes to open mat, you like to roll. So I'm not going to take a lot of your open mat time. I figured I'd just go through uh, two techniques. I'm going to do one technique that's more fundamental. It's an escape. Uh, and then I'll do one technique that's just more fun. It's something you can pull off in a, in a roll at the right timing. That's more of a, a low probability, but a fun technique. So the, the first one we're going to go through is just uh, side control escapes. And when I, teach, um, when I teach escapes, the first thing to think about with an escape in any kind of jiu-jitsu situation is there's two things you need. You need a frame, and you need distance. Right, so side control is what we call a pin. In jiu-jitsu, a pin is anything where you hold someone down. Right, so if I may. So when I have somebody in side control and I'm chest to chest, I've pinned them, right? In order for him to escape, he needs a way to frame himself against me so that I can't get past the frame and then he has space. So the first thing you wanna think about in any escape is how do you establish your pin. So for example, if we're doing guard passes and I'm here, he's not gonna pass my guard. Because he can move me around, he can do whatever, but you see this frame that I have? I'm completely connected, right? I have what I call inside frames. If this is my body, this is my inside track, these are my inside frames. There is no passing my guard like this. Now, of course, it's a terrible situation for me. I have no offensive attacks. There's not much I can do. But in terms of showing a frame, this inside frame gives me all the, um, the kind of space that I need to ensure that he can't get past it. So the first thing we want to do when we're inside control is figure out how you establish your frames. So we're here. He's chest to chest, right? I'm, I feel very stuck. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get this hand and I want to swim it in under this chin. But what I do not want to do is I don't want to make this big swinging motion because I do this, he's going to come and grab it, he's going to do a Kimura, he's going to do all this stuff. So what I like to do is I like to drop it and swim it inside here. This is a very safe movement, right? It's hard for him to track. And then I'm going to put this hand and cup his shoulder. And this elbow is going to track under his neck. What this is then going to do is it's going to give me a little bit of leverage. Now the next thing frame I want to establish is I want to get this hand out. He's got this hand over here. He's got nice tight hips. It's stuck, right? So all I'm just going to do is I'm going to bring my toes back to my body, to my butt, like right here. Not here. I can't bridge out here. So I'm going to walk them back. And I'm just going to bridge a little bit. And as I bridge a little bit, I'm just going to push a little bit with this elbow. All this is going to do is it's going to lift him a little bit. And this hand can turn. I'm not going to, I can't bring my elbow back like this. You see where my elbow is tracking outside? So I turn. So my pink, my thumb is down and I can slide this in. If I try to slide this in with my thumb turned this way, I'm going to bang into his hip. So I'm just going to bridge a little bit. I'm going to turn my hand and rotate it and then I'm gonna slide this in. Now I have this here and I have this here. I have, a, I have the beginnings of a frame, but I don't have a frame yet. I don't have anything yet that is going to keep him away from me. So again, so now I get into my second bridge where I bring my, I walk my toes back. The mistake a lot of people make here is they think this is a bridge is like a bench press. It's not. Generally in Jiu Jitsu, your arms always work after your hips. All right, all your strength comes from your hips. Jiu-jitsu, boxing, kickboxing, any athletic movement, all the power is in your hips. My arms are useless against the power of his body. So the first way I do my bridge is I'm gonna bridge and I'm gonna turn my head and I'm gonna look all the way over there. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bridge across my shoulder. So one moment, Professor. So if I show it without him, you're not bridging up. If I bridge him up, He's going to move up, and then he's going to come back down. My goal is here, is I'm going to bridge this way. And that is going to create the space that I need to then get this frame in. 
So very simply, I'm not bridging up. I'm turning this way. This is a movement where I can do this against somebody who's, you know, 100 kilos. If I do this, there's no chance. So we're here. I pull this down. I sneak it across. I cup the shoulder. I bridge a little bit. I turn this wrist. I get it here. Now I'm going to do my next big bridge. And when I do that, at the top of my bridge, I'm going to push here. This is going to make it uncomfortable for him and help establish my frame so that he can't get, pin me again. So I'm going to turn here. And all I'm going to do is, you see this? This is my frame. Is it allows me from here is to step back and shrimp. The same shrimp you do all the time in jiu-jitsu. And then this knee is going to connect to this elbow. And I'm just going to come here. Now if he, now if I, now this is my frame. Now if he just moves into me, he can't get past this. We can, right? But I can't hang out here. Because if I just hang out here, he's going to grab this, he's going to start doing all this stuff. So as soon as I have this, I keep this hand and I extend my hip. I can bring this back up here. I can shrimp away. I can establish my guard. So you're going to bridge up. You're going to shrimp back, keeping these frames here. You're going to connect this bottom leg to this frame, to your elbow. This is your frame, but you can't stay here. You're then going see how my upper body is crunched down like this, like I'm doing a crunch. I'm now going to do the opposite. I'm going to extend my upper body. And then I'm going to bring this elbow in. So let's try that. One, two, three, let's go.